What is very interesting is it says two and a half hours back to Harder Kloom. Harder Kloom, you're making me say it all wrong. Don't blame me. All right, good morning. We made it up again to Harder Klum, and today we are going hiking. We are doing the Harder Grat. So you could do it multiple ways, but the most popular way is from Harder Klum to Habkern. It's six hours. You could also hike all the way to Brands or Rockmore. We're not gonna do that because it's like 10 hours. So this is the start of it. It is 928. We hope to finish in six hours. Their estimated times are very accurate because Swiss people are, people are like Norwegians when it comes to hiking. Time, yeah. They're very fast and they don't take breaks for pictures. So, so yeah, from here we hike up through the forest. Oh, I think it's all uphill basically to August Mothorn. And then from there you're hiking along the ridge. And then from there you can go down to the bus stop. So excited. We are more ready than we I was for the last hike. I got some water in my camelback. I've stretched so I don't hopefully cross my fingers get a leg cramp. I think we're ready. Yep. Let's go. The first part of that trail is all in the woods. Well we're still in the woods and it's all uphill. Finally come to a little bit of a flat spot. But yeah it's a little tough because it rained yesterday and so it's a little bit muddy so you kind of have to be careful where we're stepping but it's not too bad having these walking sticks are crucial it would be better if we had two melissa and i are sharing a pair but i think we're getting close to the ridge hopefully we've been walking for about 40 minutes now we're in kind of this little flat area again so we had a little flat and then it kept going up it's not super steep, so that I'm grateful for that. So it's just a gradual incline up. Clouds are still here. It looks a little bit clearer on that side. I think Melissa's back there somewhere. Yeah, I see her. Is this the muddiest hike we've ever done? No. It's been muddier. It is. It's very muddy. 35 minutes in. So far, it hasn't been a very difficult hike. The, the most difficult part of this trail so far is the mud and the tree stumps. Because of the rain yesterday, it's a little bit muddy. Well, it's a lot muddy, especially the tree stumps. Uh, tree roots that you're walking across, they are incredibly slippery. slippery. So you gotta be very, very careful. And then, yeah, sometimes the trail is really narrow. So you gotta be careful about that as well. Hey, Melissa. Yeah. How's your hike so far? Not bad. It's not as difficult as I was imagining it to be. I feel like we're on top of the ridge now. Now, obviously, Melissa's going down, but I think we're gonna, I think over there is the top of the ridge. An hour and 35 minutes. An hour and 35 minutes in, and I think we're out of the woods. We're above some of the clouds, at least on this side, so you can see down. This side is still cloudy. It's a great view up here though. But I see. I wonder if we need to climb up there. Kind yeah. of in the yeah, we clouds. Do. I think that's August math no, no, no. That's signature. This part of the hike along the ridge is really beautiful. You can see down into the valley. For some reason on that side of the ridge it's cloudy but over here it's clear so it's quite nice. I think the road that we're gonna have to hike down is somewhere down in the valley as well. I think we have now arrived at the base of Sigatour which is the smaller of the two peaks. I think that's August Mathorn right there. A lot of people stop here to um, have lunch. We might do the same. Where do you want to go to the peak? Let's just go to the peak and have lunch there. All right. Change of plans, we're gonna have lunch here. Yeah, it's about noon. So Melissa was saying, and she's 
has a point. Since the clouds are right there and we can't see August Matterhorn right now, we're gonna have lunch here and then we can wait and see if the clouds clear and then we can see the mountain. So good idea, Melissa. Finished lunch. Now, unfortunately, I don't think it cleared much during our lunch break, but we're gonna hike up and see what the view looks like up there. We made it up to the first summit. It's clear down in this valley that was before, but then it's cloudy on this side. It looks like the clouds are just going up past this side of the mountain and then not going down. So it's actually kind of cool, except we can't see anything right now. So this is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see behind Melissa, the clouds are just hitting this ridge and then bouncing off. All right, we're climbing up. It's pretty steep. It is. Take it nice and easy. Let's climb up there. Good job, Melissa. Nice work. We reached the first peak, it's called Sigator. However, we are in the clouds right now. So August Math Horn is just that way, I think. We'll see, it's at 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah, so we're gonna head that way and see if we can see better views from there and maybe wait it out over there. All right, now we're walking on this ridge. So I'm not sure you can see much over here, but it falls off on this side and also falls off on this side. Was that scary or not? No. <laughs> it looks scarier than it is, but it's not. As we came up a little bit along the ridge, it became really cloudy. And now we can't see anything on either side. You can barely make out the lake down there, barely past the clouds. But we have to keep going. We're about, uh, about 200 feet from the summit here. Just walked out this little ridge again, still in the clouds but I think we're gonna wait up here for a little bit and see if the clouds shift a little bit. Good job, you made it. Good news is we made it up to the summit. However, it is 360 degrees of clouds. A few people up here just said that they got a clearing, so we may wait a little bit for it to clear before we head back down or hopefully it will clear. What do you think, Melissa? I think we should wait, but I also don't think it'll clear. So when it's clear on this side, in theory, you should be able to see the lakes and the mountains that way. But obviously we can't see anything right now. So I wanted to show you guys the view over here. As you can see down here, this is Lake Brienz. Over there, as you can tell, is the Mountain Eiger. And over here is Interlaken. You guys can see that, right? Okay, good. What are your overall impressions of this hike? Well, I'm sure it's amazing. A lot of people have this hike on their bucket list, but weather gods did not ideal. cooperate today. So unfortunately, the better view 
was on this side where Lake Rienz is. Mm -hmm. And that's the side we couldn't see. We could only see towards the other valley, like the farmland. That's travel. That's Mother Nature. Can't control it, so we tried. Can't control it yet. What? Yeah, they're inventing things to control Mother Nature. Oh my gosh. I just don't think we're going to see anything, so I think we should just go. Now the question is, are we going to go back the same way or okay, down to so Hapkern? Okay, so what is very interesting is it says two and a half hours back to Harder Kloom. Harder Kloom, you're making me say it all wrong. Don't blame me. It took us three hours and 35 minutes to get here with the small lunch break. The Swiss people take off an hour for going downhill? No. So I think we're going to go that way because I don't trust that it's two hours and 30 minutes back to Harder Cool. We're going to head out because I don't like the clouds are getting thicker. I did like hiking on the ridges though. That was pretty cool. So if you keep going on the path that way, you'll reach Brienzer Rothorn, which is the mountain train, the steam train that we tried to go on yesterday while well, we made it halfway. But apparently that way is marked blue, which is the dangerous path. With that, this is August Matthorn. This is the reason for this hike. And this is what you get. <laughs> is blocking our path, so this will go up and around. What's up, buddy? How's the grass? Well, we see the parking lot down there, but we also have been walking, basically, it feels like through someone's farm because the cows are back there. So, saw some big poops from the cows, and then it's really muddy down here. I feel like we're literally in someone's farm, because we are. So, the place that we wanted to go is Havkern, and then ultimately is supposedly this way. Doesn't look like there's a path there, does it, Melissa? <laughs> so we're going this way. Well, it doesn't look like this way is any better, but at least it's more of a path. Definitely in someone's land because it's um, fenced off. But the good thing is we can see the parking lot down there. So we basically said, screw it. Our feet are all wet anyway, so we're just cleaning them in the little stream here. Hopefully there's not another mud I don't think run so. that we have to go through. But we're almost there. That's the parking lot right there. Made it back to the parking lot here. And then there's a little restaurant here at Lombok Shop or Lombok Alp, Lombok Alp. And now we are trying to get to Hapkern, which the sign says is an hour 30 from here. So, but it's the road. So that's nice. We're just walking and hoping that someone leaves and we can hitchhike. I don't think anyone's going to want to take us in our condition. <laughs> <laughs> we are all muddy. I'll go in the back of someone's truck. Yeah, if this was Texas, you just hop in the back with the bed of someone's truck and head down the road. Even though we're walking on this road, the views are quite nice. This is definitely like a local area, mostly farms. And we saw some pigs up there. Obviously, there's a lot of cows, but the views from here are pretty good. We can see the lake down here. It's a little bit lower so the clouds aren't covering up the view. So it's pretty cool. Would you recommend walking down? I do not. I would <laughs> recommend doing the round trip to Harder Plum. So basically we're just walking down this road like three and a half miles, something like that. I did stick out my thumb for one car and they just passed us up. So. Well, we just saw a truck pass us by. But it was an official work truck. So, so I'm sure yeah. it's a liability for them to take hitchhikers. So, so we will continue walking. He, he seemed like he was understanding of our situation, but I think he just, obviously he's working, so he can't do it. Okay, I think we're about just under 10 minutes from town. However, we just missed the bus. So we have to wait a whole nother hour. Yeah, by the time we get there, another 50 minutes. 
It's not too bad. We'll get a little snack maybe in town. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this this is where we want to be. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is the town of uh, what is it? Oh, Half Kern. And then this is the bus that we take back to Interlaken. Feels like it's an abandoned town. There's like no one here. Everything's closed. Today is the day after their national holiday, so maybe that's why it's closed. Oh no, this is open. Ah, oh, just kidding. This is open. Yes. And it looks like it's a bakery. All right, so the grocery store was open. That's nice. I got a beer. And Melissa got a carrot cake. I think I got carrot cake. It had carrot on top, so <laughs> that is my assumption. So we're gonna have our drinks and snack and, and call it a day. Wait for the bus. Yep. We are now in Interlaken and we had the most fortunate situation come. So you know how we were supposed to wait for the bus, but we were literally sitting on the bus stop station on the little bench. And this guy comes up to me and he was asking about the like cheese vending machine. But then we got talking and they were actually a couple from France and they were doing the whole van life thing. And they were, you know, asking about places to go and things like that. So we offered them our advice and, you know, where we recommended. They were about to take off to go to their next location and they asked us if we wanted a ride back to Interlaken. And Alan said no. I initially said no because we were super dirty. I didn't want to get their van dirty. No, you're dirty. I'm not dirty. <laughs> I was very dirty. And, but the look on my face was like, yes, I want a ride. <laughs> and they saw it and they were like, oh, okay, just, just hop in. So anyway, they gave us a ride back. We learned about them. They learned about us. Um, they were super cool too. They were like real chill. They're like, yeah, just driving around for a week on, in the van. So. And Alan did get their van dirty, which I feel really bad about. Sorry. <laughs> it's a rental. Yeah. But they have to sleep on that. Thing. Well, I think I they, they put a mattress thing or cover over it, I'm sure. But anyway, I thought that was so cool that, that we just happened upon. That's the coolest thing about travel sometimes. You just you meet, meet the, the most the coolest people. people. Yeah. So that was cool. Anyway. All right. See you next time.